Hello, I'm Dr. Beverly, and I'm here to tell you inventory management and safe storing practices are your responsibility. Let's take a look at some tips to help you get organized to save money, time, and control food quality and safety. Let's start with dry storage. Dry storage should be between 50 to 70 degrees and just as described, dry. Higher temperatures can cause food items like peanut butter and flour to become rancid. Be sure to store heavy items on the bottom and lighter items on higher shelves. Chemicals and cleaning supplies should always be stored separately from food items. Your storage areas can be a time waster. Now is the perfect time to get rid of the clutter and make more space to store foods at least six inches off the floor. Consider storing items by inventory list, alphabetically within groups such as canned fruit or by frequent use. For safety and quality, organize your storage areas using first in, first out, or the FIFO method. This means that you use the product with the oldest date first. When products are received, mark the case with the date and place behind items received on an earlier date. A trick to storing partial cases of number 10 cans is to turn the box on its side and stand a can at the opening. What a great storing hack. Also, to prevent miscounting during inventory, mark open boxes with an X to remind you to open and count or take a percentage. All storage areas have temperature control points. The most critical is refrigerated storage because it's closest to the temperature danger zone of 41 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to place the thermometer close to the door, which is the warmest spot in the entire unit. Here's a hint, keep the air temperature at most 39 degrees to make sure the food is held at 41 degrees. Produce received more than one time per week may need the first expired, first out, or FIFO method. This means that the strawberries that came in last Thursday will expire before the strawberries delivered this Tuesday. Here's something you might not know about produce storage. For best produce quality, store ethylene gas producing fruits such as apples separately from vegetables such as broccoli and lettuce. The ethylene gas produced by certain fruit reduces condition, taste, and shelf life of many vegetables. For products made in-house, such as pasta salad, be sure to label, date, and use within seven days of preparation. As a buffer, some schools use or discard product within three to five days. Always use approved storage containers, and no, the leftover mayo container is not approved. It's a single-use plastic that cannot be sanitized. Another important safety tip, make sure ready-to-eat products are always stored above raw meat, poultry, and eggs. Consider refrigerating cans of items like tuna or mayonnaise overnight that will be incorporated into a TCS menu item like tuna or pasta salad. Lastly, let's talk about freezer storage. Freezer temperatures range from minus 10 to zero degrees. And just because a food item is frozen doesn't mean pathogens are destroyed. They are just sitting and waiting to thaw and multiply. Ice crystals are a sure sign of thawing and refreezing. After food has been thawed, fully cook before refreezing. How do you best control refrigerator and freezer temperatures? Keep the door closed as much as possible. Finally, no matter the storage area, store food in original packaging in case of a recall to easily trace back the origin and important information about the food. If you remove packaging, keep the label until all of the food has been used or record the information on the package. Safe storage ensures school meals maintain quality and safety, and it takes the whole team to do what's right for children. Now, let's go get organized.